What's good guys, Jar Academy here, and today we got the second video on the channel, which will be covering the very advanced skill move, the Elastico, which is heavily used by all the pros and top FIFA players. So today I'm going to teach you when to do it, in what situations, and how to do it. So, let's hop right into it. Alright guys, so you're going to see in the clips to come up here, how I use the Elastico and how it's in a very repetitive way actually. Um, I use it a lot to set up my shots, or uh, set up my passes, because you're going to see it creates some sort of 45 degree angle. That helps you get a better shot off or a better pass off. And I also use it to just get my player's body in front of the defender. Alright, so here we got Rashford with the ball out wide. Cut back in, find Mbappe. Back to the defender, which allows me to go either way to set up the elastico for the shot. And there you go. Alright, here we got Mbappe with the ball. Create the 45 degree angle with the elastico. Pass it to Rashford and finish there. My opinion, this is one of the best skill moves in the game. Honestly, it's my favorite. I, I love it. Look at that. Cut back. Create more space in front so I could perform the last goal because I already knew I was going to do it in that situation. Pass it to Rashford, first time fake shot. Finish. Anyways, here it is again. Do the elastico, create the 45 degree angle with it. All right, in this clip here, you're going to see with Neymar how I'm going to beat the player and immediately use the elastico to set up my shot. Just like that. You might ask, why did I even use the elastico? I already beat the player. Only because it would help me set up the shot much, much quicker and finish it there on the 45 degree angle. In this clip here, guys, you're going to see something what is called the reverse elastico, which is the same control output and same thing as the elastico. Just a different animation, but since it's on Mbappe's weaker side, it performs what is called the reverse elastico. But same control output, no need to worry, nothing different. You'll see at the end of the video, so make sure to watch the controller output. Very informative, something you need to know in order to do the skill. I want you guys to really pay attention here to this clip because I can't emphasize enough how overpowered the elastico is when standing still. As you saw there, Mbappe was standing still sideways to the goal, so I knew if I performed the elastico, speed boost in between that gap, giving that 45 degree angle to get a good shot on goal, and there you have it, a goal. So, this is the last clip here before we get into the controller output of how to perform the elastico, which you're going to see once again, sideways to the goal here, perform the elastico, giving that 45 degree angle, get a better shot on goal. All right, guys, so here I am for the controller output in a squad battle or friendly match against beginner, whatever, it doesn't matter. just want to show you guys the controller output for the Elastico. So here we are with Neymar, and we're going to perform a U-shape in order to perform the Elastico. So Neymar is facing sideways, so let's say he wants to go to his left. He would perform a U like that. Um, a little tip I used to remember to remember the elastico is end the U the way you would like to go. For example, if I want to do the elastico and go to Neymar's left, I would start to U on the right, but end it on the left, the way I want to go. Like that. If you want to do the reverse elastico, same thing, end the U on the right side to go to his right. Now you're fac facing this way, you're just going to flip the way you do the U. Since he's facing this way, now if you want to go to his left, you start from the right, go to his left. It's kind of the way he's facing, and the way your analog is facing, the way you do the use. So for example, I'm facing this way, end it off to the left, I wanna to go to the left, I wanna go to the right, and off on the right. Again, here we go. Like that. So um, you can also use this to break out of pressure. For example, say we're top box right now, dribbling towards the sideline, someone's on my butt. Break out of it, play to your CDM, get it back, reverse elastico, I like to do Half drag back, last to go in between center backs, get a shot on goal. Some sort of skill change, you know, they all work with this skill move. It's a little skill boost, as you can see. All right, but guys, that's really it there. Um, simple trick again, remember, end the U the way you want to go. So if I want to go 
to his left here or to the right side of my screen. I'm going to end the U that way. There you go. Reverse your last go that way. Slip it around one more time. There you guys go. Well, good luck with this. Try to implement it in your game. There you guys have it. The elastical skill move tutorial. Very advanced skill move. And if you can learn it, perfect it, and master it, which you can, go in the arena, practice this in squad battles, play kickoff, whatever, practice it. That's how I learned repetitively doing it, different players, reverse, regular way, anything you want. Just keep practicing in the arena. Perfect it, implement it into your gameplay. More wins, guaranteed. As you can see, creates a lot more goals. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll leave a link below to my bridge skill tutorial if you didn't watch it already, my previous video. Take care, guys.